There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. Held out, on the other hand, is armed with long filaments. These filaments move with the changes in atmosphere, and each seed helps to push its neighbors off the parent stem. Around, the filaments enable the seed to wander about in search of homes looking exactly like large prawns. Each wild oat shuffles about until it finds a comfortable hole of which it takes possession. Around its neck is a collar of oats, for as you see, once sown, they are practically certain to take root and grow. Of bristles, which holds it firmly in the position that it has chosen. And now for the moral of this film. Be very careful how you sow wild If it is sown upside down, it cannot turn itself over and gets into terrible difficulties with its roots on top. If it falls on the surface of the ground, it cannot move to a better position and usually dies. The farmer's oat has relied on man for centuries and has become dependent on him and quite helpless. But she had no domestic problems compared with the opium poppy, which has 20,000 offspring to provide for. The first problem for any plant is how to give every one of these children a good start in life. The goat's beard believes in traveling abroad by aerial transport and has each seed attached to a parachute. The parachute opens in the sun and closes in a damp atmosphere. So the seed can only start away in fine weather and goes flying over dry ground. But when it comes to a wet spot, the parachute closes and the seed falls into a good house. If by chance it falls into an unattractive position, the alternate action of sun and dew enable it to move to a better home. thistle reaches its home by a bomb dropping device. The seed has a conical projection which exactly fits into an elastic ring in the parachute. As the parachute opens, the sides press on the cone and any shock while it is in flight causes the seed to be shot downwards. The stone crop fights for life among the rocks and each new plant is attached to a leaf that acts as an air cushion on which the young stone crop bounces down to find a home. The seeds of the enchantress nightshade are armed with hooks to catch a passing animals 
and so get a lift, while the burdock presses mankind into its service to carry its family abroad. Lumen back here has a balloon-like seed covered with tiny hooks, which can only be seen through a microscope, but which are strong enough to grip a piece of paper. Among the hooks are also long stings. When the seed is ripe, the hooks catch the coat of a passerby, while the stings make sure the animal will keep on the move and eventually scratch the seed out. Seeds carried on the coats of animals usually have a little wool attached to them. The wool attracts dew, which supplies the young plant with drinking water. The majority of seeds have a strong outer case which is packed with food for the new life within. Provided with food and drink, the young plant, having found a good home, proceeds to dig itself in. Seeds like the cucumber fasten themselves to the ground with a kind of clamp. On the other hand, the cress has a coat which absorbs water and turns into a sticky jelly that glues the seed down. The heron's bill seed is like a living corkscrew, which is worked by changes in the atmosphere affecting the handle at the top. Dandelion has hooks to hold it down. Seeds are not left to enjoy their homes in peace, for there is not room for all. They have to fight for existence. The sunflower uses its old seed case as a battering ram. In the hedgerow, vetches turn their stalks over into shoulders and push other plants out of the way. Here they come now. In the meadow, the little crest plant feels after its rival for light and air and strangles it. House leek grows on rocky ground, and storing water in its thick leaves is unmoved by the attack of quick-growing weeds. These, having no water supply, soon die off. In the battle for existence, grass also relies on a good commissariat department and stores its rations in underground bulbs. Thus armed, the grass overthrows dandelions, ducks, and others. And one blade of grass can create consternation among its enemies. Quick-growing plants try to choke the grasses but cannot keep up the attack and are overthrown. In this fight for life, the best armed and the most resourceful wins.